Okay guys, um, today we're going to look at a, a very useful tool, a tool that uh, could be used by, by virtually any trade. In fact, there's very few trades I can think of that this wouldn't be useful for. And that is the Hikmicro thermal imaging camera. Now I don't know much about thermal Im imaging cameras, um, but I'm going to take you on a little journey and see if it might be of any interest to you. Because as I say, there's very few uh, trades where this wouldn't come in quite handy. So let's open her up and see what we've got in the box. Okay, so do excuse where I'm doing this this morning, um, but we're in the middle of a mini heat wave and the sun is beaming through every window and making shadows everywhere, so it's really difficult for me to find somewhere to do it. But anyway, let's have a look what we've got in the box. You've got your usual calibration certificate. Uh, a thank you from Hick Micro, which has got um, the usual things, you know, the websites, etc. A very small um, instruction manual, which again uh, doesn't cover an awful lot, just the very basics. Um, and as I say, I don't know an awful lot about it. The only thing I do know is that sunlight is your enemy. <laughs> well, not really your enemy, but it's it's not good um, because obviously this is measuring um, radiation or radiated heat, light. Um, and when it's hot, everything's radiating. But we, we'll get over that. So there we go. We'll take a closer look at the, all the, the functions in a second. It's got a... Um, inbuilt battery I think it's something like 3,300 milliamp hours which um, I'll check but um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is and it comes with its own charging cable this is also used for transferring images to your computer so Let's take a closer look at the all the functions. Okay, so I hope you'll be able to see this. You simply turn it on by pressing the, obviously the on button, you hold it. It will come on. And there we go. Obviously it's going to be um, purple at the moment because it's just looking at the table, which is obviously one temperature. Now I'll just walk you through a few things. First of all, it's got its own built-in four gigabyte flash memory. It's got uh, an eight hour continuous run time, IP54 rated and a two meter drop test. It's also got a laser pointer so you can sort of pinpoint where you're actually aiming it at. Let's just run through a few things here. Up the top you've got your time, then you've got three um, temperatures. You've got your center, your maximum and your minimum. Um, your distance down here you can change the distance um, and on the right here I can't pronounce it I've get my teeth in but it's basically a setting for the type of substrate that you're actually aiming aiming it at this is on a generic one at the moment because there are so many different ones I'll show you as we go through to go through the menu just hit the power button again you've got albums at the top which is what uh, it, where it stores your images you've got your emissive em, emissivity that's what I was trying to pronounce it's basically um, let's get into it and I'll show you what it says it's got all the different things on it PCB cement or concrete ceramics rubber uh, paint wood asphalt brick sand soil cotton cardboard white paper water or custom and now we're on custom at the moment because that's what the one it came <coughs> set on but if you're working purely on concrete you know you're going over a floor looking for a leak then you can set it to, to cement or concrete along with all the other things that you can you can set it to we'll get out of there then we've got your distance um i've got it set on a meter at the moment display settings You've got all the different parameters you can um, go through. You can change a unit from C to F. 
You can have the brand logo on or off, all different parameters showing, your center, your cold, your hot, everything. It, it, you can have those on or off um, depending on what your needs. Color, that's either a histogram or linear. I'm not actually sure what they do. Um, it doesn't look any different to me, but there you go. Someone who knows what they're doing will probably know. Super IR, now that, I was not really sure what that does, but apparently it, it makes the images sharper. Um, you've got your palettes, so you can have white hot, black hot, rainbow, iron bow, which is what we're on at the moment, or an above alarm. Now that means if there's a temperature you don't want to, to find, you can set that, and then when you're scanning around, it will, it will, um, make an, a, a noise or do something at that temperature and you can set the temperature below. So you can have all of those different things. So we're on iron bow at the moment. What else have we got? Uh, level and span. Again, I'm not sure what that is. I've got it on auto. Uh, your alarm. Temperature range. So you can have it from 20 to 150 or 100 to 400 uh, or you can have an auto and I've, again I've got it an auto capture mode now this is quite good you capture one image when you pull the trigger or you can schedule the capture now I think this is quite good because if you're on your own somewhere and you want to set up for um, a set period of time and see what something does over a set period of time whether a leak gets worse or um, a bit of equipment gets hotter over time you can set that on the scheduled capture and as I didn't show you it's got the uh, tripod mount in the bottom so you can set it up on a tripod set the scheduled capture press the button away you go it will capture images at a certain part time which I think is a really good idea uh, more settings are basically auto power off, auto sleep, or your your abouts, um, <coughs> serial number, firmware. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, how much storage you've got left? Um, you can save your logs. You can format the the drive, uh, or you can restore the device back to a uh, factory. Your language you can change, um, and that's about it, I think. You've got your laser on or off if you want it. Yeah, so that's just about it. Um, you can looking over there. I don't know if you can see that. That's pointing at my router, and that's pretty hot. So anyway, let's take it out and give it a bit of a try and see what it does. Okay, well as it's so hot here at the moment, it's gonna be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna try and use that to my advantage. Like you can see here, my loft hatch is extremely hot. So in the winter, that's gonna be where the cold's coming in. So I can really do with putting uh, a little bit of insulation in there. So that's a good uh, tip first off, before we even got out the house. Okay, so now we're at work. I've got my grinder running here. You can see how hot the motor is. And the belt itself is hot. And that platen is, is actually glass. And that is really hot. So, again, bearing in mind it's, it's very warm here at the moment anyway. And this is a still from that capture. Obviously it's going to be look, look a little bit blurred because it's blown up so big on the screen. But you, you can get to see what there is there. Right, let's have another quick look in the workshop. Again, using the heat to my advantage, that line there, the ridge, is where there's obviously no insulation or where the insulation doesn't quite go. So again, that's where the, the cold's going to be coming in in the winter. Quite useful. Again, a still from that. You can see that the LEDs showing up as well. And all the information you need is there. Now I've just come into work. I'll just have a quick look at the, the wheel. So like mechanics, 
that would be quite useful. See the temperature of the disc. Um, even the tyre is hot. Because uh, as I say, I've literally just come in. And again, it still has got all the information you need. The maximum, minimum, and all the rest of it. And you can even use it on the dog. I hear that vets are now using these to diagnose some uh, ailments in animals. They uh, find a hot spot. In fact, if I was shoeing, I'd probably use it to um, diagnose pus in the foot, which would be quite handy. Back in the other end of the workshop, my meter. Now we've got nothing on, yet the actual meter is reading quite hot for some reason. I don't quite know why. Again, you can see where the hot bit is in the middle where the insulation isn't and the LED is showing hot because it was on I've just turned it off because it was blinding the place and even on a lighter note my insulated mug you can see where the heat's coming out so if you want to keep your your coffee hotter you want to put uh, something over the top so anyway I hope that's been useful and I'm sure it'll be useful to loads of trades. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.